Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh everyone. Welcome to another video from Islamic Enlightenment YouTube and Islamic Enlightenment IGTV. We're going to be speaking about a famous verse from Surah Al-Fatir today. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, بَعْدَ أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الناس إن وعد الله حق ولا تغرنكم الحياة الدنيا ولا يغرنكم بالله الغرور O oh mankind, know the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is truthful so do not let the worldly life deceive you and do not let the deceptive one deceive you. The question here is, why does when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talk about the worldly life, He mentions it with its proper noun. But when He talks about the shaitan, He mentions shaitan with His famous adjective, the deceptive one. Why the separation? Well, the tests we get from the worldly life tend to be generic. People tend to be tested by similar things. But the waswasas and the tests we get from shaitan are much more personalized. He looks at our weaknesses and he targets them. So if a person has excessive love for wealth, shaitan will constantly remind him the importance of hoarding loads of money and the harms if he does not do so. So as a result, that person will neglect his duties towards his family. Likewise, if a person has excessive love to those of the opposite gender, shaitan will constantly decorate that in his mind and give him loads of waswasas and will make him think, oh look at this person, look at that person, or constantly remind him about the thousand websites which are harmful to him online. In Surah Araf, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that shaitan says, لَأَقْعُدَنَّ لَهُمْ سِرَاطَكَ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ ثُمَّ لَآتِيَنَّهُمْ مِنْ بَيْنِ أَيْدِيهِمْ وَمِنْ خَلْفِهِمْ وَعَنْ أَيْمَانِهِمْ وَعَنْ شَمَائِلِهِمْ وَلَا تَجِدُ أَكْثَرُهُمْ شَاكِرِينَ That, that surely I will lie and wait for them on your straight path. Then I shall confront them from in front of them and behind them and from their right and from their left and you will not find most of them being grateful to you. A'i shaitan here very openly is telling us that he will use every weapon under the sun and exploit every weakness we have so we can be misguided from the straight path. Now the question arises, how do we deal with this issue? The problem is a lot of us are, or a lot of us treat the shaitan as a passive enemy. But we have to treat him like an active enemy. Not someone that who may try to trip us, rather someone who's going to go out of their way to do the best they can to make us fall and to misguide us. That's why in Surah Fatir, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us and tells us, إِنَّ الشَّيْطَانَ لَكُمْ عَدُوٌّ فَاتَّخِذُوهُ عَدُوًّا إِنَّمَا يَدْعُوا حِزْبَهُ لِيَكُونُوا مِنْ أَصْحَابِ, لِيكونوا من أصحاب السَّعِيرِ that indeed shaitan is your enemy, so take him as an enemy. Indeed he only calls his people, so they may in, so they may in the end become from the inhabitants of the hellfire. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, don't just recognize he is your enemy, treat him like a proper active enemy. In fact, in Surah Yasin, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَقَدْ أَضَلَّ مِنْكُمْ جِبِلًّا كَثِيرًا أَفَلَمْ تَكُونُوا تَعْقِلُونَ That indeed shaitan has misguided many people before you, so why do you then not use your sense? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling me and you that what is wrong with us? Why are we refusing to treat shaitan like an active enemy? And likewise, if we don't, then we're an easy prey for the shaitan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, why don't you use your common sense? Don't you know shaitan has misguided many people before you? Don't you know he's an enemy? So treat him like a proper enemy. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you and me the ability to act upon this, inshallah. And I will speak to you guys soon. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.